YouTube, what's going on today, guys? This is the biggest, craziest thing that's ever happened in the NCAA. I'm just gonna get straight to it and all the information I know as of today. Um, today is March 31st. I'll be uploading this on the 1st. Um, this is, has been a huge problem in the NCAA since players realized that we make money for the NCAA, we make billions of dollars for the NCAA, and we don't get any type of income other than a scholarship check, which is around $1,500. It matters what school you go to, um, but at Oregon, it's $1,500. So if I break it down to you guys, all my bills, my rent, $620 a month. Uh, my car payment, $400 a month. My insurance, $200 a month. That's $1,200 just alone right there and then the 300 dollars i have to spend on food money and clothes whatever i need for accessories to keep myself alive you know so um i really truly do believe ncaa should have been allowing us to make money off of our name image likeness i was born with this name no one gave me this name i was born with it um i earned what I have now and I feel like if companies are willing to offer any athlete for money um, whether it's a little company big company whatever it is helps an athlete you know what I'm saying so the thing that we struggled with was being able to keep our financials up and you know being broke you like I would have to go some days to McDonald's because I only had three dollars left in my account so I'm gonna go get a small fry and a large drink and hopefully i got enough so that's the crazy thing about it is um, a lot of athletes go without and i'm super happy that um, there's a bunch of law cases uh, a bunch of everything that went on during the case that allowed us to get paid now i'm allowed to monetize my videos i'm allowed to make money off my name now i'm just extremely grateful for it now because it's gonna help me be able to live better you know um, be able to afford and live comfortably instead of stressing about paying bills all the time so i'm super excited about that um also i will be changing my gaming channel to micah Pittman games um there's there's gonna be pit crew pit crew will always be my logo and i'm gonna try to create that logo uh into a brand and make some clothing uh, and all that type of stuff. So you guys let me know if you guys want me to make clothing or hats or you know any anything of the sort, shoes, whatever you guys would be into, I would like to know. Um, it also en encourages me to post every other week because now I will be getting paid from YouTube and so it will be a source of income so it will become a priority in my life because it's going to help take care of me you know guys so um i'm just super grateful now do i think college athletes deserve to get paid 100 absolutely freaking percent like i i can't agree with it because we work extremely hard my brother would tell you we deserve to get paid my dad would tell you we deserve to get paid any guys that has been through college they understand how hard it is how much time you have to sacrifice and everything like that so for all the people who think we shouldn't get paid i think you're half crazy because any other 18 year old in this world can go make money however they want right and so why can't an 18 year old young college athlete get a scholarship check and maybe show up to a signing and get an extra two thousand dollars three thousand dollars that will help him throughout the rest of the month you know what i'm saying so things like that um it's huge and i'm super grateful um from the insider source that i have i don't don't quote me quote unquote yet but um i heard that uh, we can't get any in-game bonuses. We can't get paid by the schools. We can't, none of that. But we can also get educational bonuses. Educational bonuses are where if a student remains over a 3.0 GPA, they'll get a 5,000, 6,000, whatever, whatever the school is offering for them. It's usually the bigger schools that will probably be offering that. Um, you can get an educational bonus for keeping good grades and stuff like that, which is huge. It's just awesome. It keeps... Uh, student athletes motivated it keeps us wanting to you know stay on top of our schoolwork which is also a great a great thing that they implemented i believe uh that's what i've heard so i'm super grateful for this uh recruitment some recruits uh can get offered from uh, you know 
I don't know yet. This is not 100%, so do not quote me on anything. Like $3,000 if you get over a 2.5 GPA, and then say Oregon's offering $4,000 if you keep over a 3.0 GPA. It can be stuff like that, and that's what I've heard, and that's all I know. Um, that could be educational bonuses only. No in-game, nothing like that. Boosters can't send us money. They can't really do any of those things. We can get an internship and we can get paid by boosters, but we have to be working and a proof of working and stuff like that. We can't just get free money from boosters or any benefits like that. Um, now, do I think this is gonna come with issues and problems? Maybe a little bit, but this is a new thing. It's a new era. This is what I believe athletes deserve, um, especially student athletes uh, that go without, uh, people with backgrounds that don't have much support from their family or stuff like that. I really believe those guys should be able to get educational bonuses, anything like that, because it's, I can see where it's hard. I've seen it firsthand throughout uh, throughout my teammates' lives and stuff like that where they struggle. And so it's, it's kind of very unfortunate for them. And I believe that anything helps, you know? And I know companies are probably gonna try to lowball me because I'm a student athlete and they know I need the money and they know all those things. So I understand all that. So if anybody's trying to make some business, you're not gonna fool me. My brother is in the industry. Uh, he has an agent that, helps him through everything and he gives me advice. So trust me, I, I'm gonna go through my brother and make sure I do everything correctly before I sign any deals. Now, uh, with that being said, I, I just can't thank uh, the people that work this case enough. Um, I agree with all the things that we do is just extremely hard. I mean, we honestly work just as hard as NFL athletes. We're just not at the high caliber that they are at because we're working to get there, but we work just as hard. We sacrifice so much time. We sacrifice literally our whole lives just to play football. Um, our schedules, uh, especially before COVID, I'll tell you guys my schedule before COVID. Um, I would wake up at 7.30 in the morning. I would arrive at the facility at around 7.45. We have meetings at 8.15 a.m. And then um, then we have film with our individual coaches at 9. And then after 9, we would have practice um, at like 9.30, 9.45. We'll get done with practice at 11.45. I'll have class at 12.15 p.m. Um, so I had to run over to campus, wa shower, wash myself, all that type of stuff. And then after that, I would have to uh, go to tutoring, which is at two. So class would go from 12.15 to 1.45. Then I have tutoring at two. Then I have to run over there. And then uh, after I get done with tutoring, I'll have class at like 3.15. I got done with tutoring. Tutoring is 55 minutes. So it's what, where would that be? That would be 3.05, I have 10 minutes to go run over to the class. And then um, after I get done with that class, it's 4.15, I have a meeting at 5.05 again with my position coach. So then we run back and go to the meetings. Then we get done at like 6.15 and now I'm done for the rest of the day. Like, if you're telling me we don't deserve some type of income or even just not even getting paid by the schools, but from third parties, like I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. So I highly agree with this. Um, I'm super grateful for this. And yeah, I mean, let me know in the comments what you guys think down below. Uh, let me know if you guys think we should have been paid way earlier. Um, it's been an issue and I'm so happy. This is the biggest change in NCAA history. There's no debate about it. Um, NCAA college football will be back. I'll be throwing it up to myself every single time, man. It'll be awesome to see myself in the game. Thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, I appreciate the mess out of everyone being in here. And I promise to post every week because now I have encouragement to post more. I'm holding back some videos so I can get paid for these next videos. So I, I definitely got some fire videos for you guys. Um, and yeah, man, this was just a sit down and talk. I promise this YouTube is about to become lit and we're about to have so much fun on here. So as always, I love you guys. And the logo is Pit Crew, guys. So make sure to lock that in. I'm super excited to get this thing going.